Welcome to the fifth section of the course. In this section, we are going to build a mobile application using Xamarin and try to reuse as much code as possible from the previous video. Before we begin writing code, we have to choose between two types of technologies available to us. The first one is Xamarin or Xamarin Native, and the second one is Xamarin Forms. This is going to be a short video describing those two variations and the reasons why you would go about using them. Let's begin with Xamarin Native. With Xamarin Native, you can build applications that target all three platforms. You can assume that we've already built an application for the Windows ecosystem in the previous. What about Android and iOS? With Xamarin Native, you can get as close as possible to the native Android and iOS experience for the user. This means that we have a large amount of shared code written in C Sharp. Examples of shared C Sharp code are view models, services, and third party NuGet packages. In fact, more than 50% of the code you write when using ends up being shared among the projects. But the downside for the native level of experience is that you have to write your platform specific user interfaces separately. This means that you have to maintain a different code base for iOS and a different one for Android with absolutely no reusable components between the two. Obviously, building a cross-platform application with Xamarin Native can be time-consuming. This is where Xamarin Forms comes in to save us from having to build the same interface multiple times for different platforms. Xamarin Forms increases the amount of code that the platforms share. With Xamarin Forms, it's not just the backend C Sharp code that can be reused. If the view is simple and generic enough, we can write XAML files that can be shared among the platforms. This leaves us with only a little amount of platform specific code. But why do we still need to write platform specific code? Well, there's a very important reason why that happens. You see, iOS and Android expose totally different APIs for handling device features. So if your application needs to access the devices, GPS, for example, then you need to communicate with a native component. Same for UI components that are only supported by a single platform. For small MVP applications, platform specific code is nearly non-existent, but with Xamarin forms, you can expect an amount of shared code that can easily read and exceed the 80% of the total code base. Now, why would you want to use Xamarin Native? For one, it boasts better performance since it is as close as you can get to native experience. You get access to a wide range of platform specific tools and a better access to libraries and APIs that are built specifically with one of the two platforms in mind. The benefits of Xamarin Forms are the great amount of shared code which means that you can build and ship faster, making Xamarin Forms ideal for concept applications or MVPs. Finally, with Xamarin Forms, we build user interfaces with XAML, which can only be a good thing, especially if your team uh, or you aren't familiar with using platform-specific UI building stacks, but you are familiar with the .NET ecosystem and XAML. 